today I am taking my father's 2002 M3 uh, BMW M3 convertible over to the emission station to get an inspection. Uh, it's currently where I'm at now. And, um, you know, he's out of town, he's out of the country. And, you know, uh, I get his mail and I got one of these emissions inspections now. In, in Maryland, we have to do the emissions inspections every two years. It's about $14, I believe. So it's not it's not a big deal. We don't have to do a general inspection of the vehicle, which is which is great. Not like some other states um, that are near us, like Pennsylvania, and I think even Virginia might require that. But um, you know, it's quick. It takes about 10 minutes as long as there's not a long line. And um, you know, they just pretty much hook up a, their computer to the OBD2 scanner, and make sure there's no codes, and. Um, and they pretty much let you go after that. You just pay them the 14 bucks or 16 bucks, somewhere around there. But I'm here, but I'm doing just a little video on uh, the, the M3. Now, my dad's is a 2002. He bought it brand new. Um, he's cat it for a while. As you can see, it's got uh, 70,000 miles on the odometer. So it's a low mileage car. It's in pretty good shape uh, with these cars. Definitely these get all scratched up. He had them painted um, by a body shop. Um, all this gets scratched up too. And I know this one's pretty scratched up. Uh, yeah, it's not too bad, but there's some scratches on there. I know that one gets, that's another thing that goes wrong with these things. Um, but other than that, the car has the sport button. Um, you know, the heaters, there's the convertible top up and down. Uh, CD and it's pretty much it you know it's got back seats I got my baby girl in the back today with me <laughs> she's helping daddy on his errands today and she just decided to take a nap so I'm happy she's taking a nap because this is pretty boring and her iPad is, is charging right now but you know I just wanted to talk a little bit about this vehicle um, it's a you know it's a six speed, um, you know, the reverse is to, you know, to the left and up, uh, it's manual obviously. And it's a pretty fun car to drive. Uh, it's pretty comfortable. Uh, you know, he's had it since 2002. It's, you know, 2017 now. And, you know, it's been, it's been pretty reliable. You know, anything that, that has been replaced, um, it does, you know, the maintenance on these things, you know, they're hand built engines. So the maintenance is, you know, parts on these cars are very, very expensive. You know, my dad actually owns another one. And, you know, just the lights, you got to replace the light. Um, you know, the ballast and the controller and the light, I think, was like $1,800. So it's pretty ridiculous prices. Um, you know, but other than that, it's a it's a pretty good car, you know, and it's, a, it's still fun to drive. I mean, I've been driving around today. Obviously, with the baby in the car, I'm not driving too crazy, but it's been a pretty fun car to drive, um, and you know I enjoy driving it. You know it handles well; it's got good pickup, and if you put it in sport mode, uh, it definitely changes things up. Uh, it's a lot more aggressive, and you know the car sounds good. So I'll, I'll do some videos of the exterior, uh, I guess, in a bit, so you guys can you know take a look at it and um, just my impression of the 2002. BMW M3. Just gonna do a little walk around of the vehicle. These are all the stock tires that uh, it came with. You know, the M3, the 2002, which I think uh, we we're looking at get, getting them refinished, uh, most likely in a powder coat black like the uh, Porsche. The car's in really good shape. Recently, I replaced the badge on it. Uh, it's resolved. I guess that's one of the things that I need. It's always going, you know, losing its color, just discoloration, paint peels on it. But other than that, I mean, the car's you know, in very good condition. You know. Space. 
the battery's at. It's actually in the rear in this car. I had the cover off because when we leave it in the garage for a long time, so we put a trickle charger on it. Um, but it's a pretty roomy trunk. It's got a little space here uh, when the top's not down where you can actually store stuff. And these came with a CD changer in the back. Toolkit. tools and I believe this car does not come with a spare I think underneath there's a uh, from what I remember there's just a um, yeah it's just a charger it's just a, uh, an air compressor so you can fill the car up so these don't come with a spare most of the newer cars don't come with a spare uh, neither does the Porsche 911 like I said the cars in excellent condition. You know, for his age, what's a 15 year old car now? You know, it's got the gray leather seats. Like I said, this thing always peels. In every car that I've seen, these things peel. And, um, you know, we got those repainted. And the seats are in, in good condition. You know, other than the regular wear and tear. Got her still asleep. But that's the 2002 BMW M3. Take it off the hood a little bit. Just take a look at that. And there she be. Your 2002 BMW M3. Thanks. 